everybody, Mary here from A Recreated Life. And today, today's video is all about our Thanksgiving dinner, um, timing of our Thanksgiving dinner, how to prepare and have everything done at the same time. Um, so please bear with me, I've taken notes and I also have notes on my computer, so I'm going to um, be looking at those. So bear with me while I do that. Okay, first of all, I just wanna say thank you everybody for subscribing, for those subscribers, for people who have subscribed, thank you. Um, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, it does help out my channel on YouTube if you do that, um, and uh, lets them know what you like, uh, what cut types of videos you like. Okay, so you guys, what I did was, um, you know, Everybody for Thanksgiving, really um, recipes and menus vary widely, um, depending on the part of the country that you live in. Um, so what I did was I just took what I thought was a basic Christmas, uh, sorry, a basic Thanksgiving meal, and I wrote it all down. And so what I'm, what I've done with the with the with this today's video is. I'm trying to give you guys an idea of timing, like how to put the meal together so that it all comes together at the same time and you can have everything hot, fresh, and ready at the time that you wanna eat. So that's what I've done. Um, in this uh, menu that I've done today, I've done turkey, stuffing, potatoes, uh, cranberry sauce, sweet potato casserole, gravy, and pumpkin pie. That's pretty, kind of a basic uh, Thanksgiving menu. Now in this video, I do not go over shopping for it, uh, grocery shopping or anything like that. This is really just about the meal itself on Thanksgiving day. And by the way, you guys, this is Thanksgiving week. This is the Tuesday of Thanksgiving week when this video will upload. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody who's gonna celebrate. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. So so anyway, the first thing that I've done is, and what I did was with all of these different, what you would call categories of food, I went to different websites on the internet so that I could find out, uh, you know, like a typical website that you would go to to find out the basics. And I'll go over all of that, where you can find the, you know, these websites and what you can find and all that. Um, but firstly, I also want to say before we go too far into the video, um, please, 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 safety first, um, especially when it comes to thawing that turkey. Um, there's all kinds of websites uh, that you can go to to find out the proper, you know, the proper way of thawing out uh, turkey. Um, you know, so please be safe about it, guys. Be smart, be safe, and, um, you know, uh, you know, do things the correct way so you stay healthy throughout the holiday. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the turkey. Okay, so that's our biggest part of that meal. And um, uh, so what I did was I went to uh, butterball.com and I wanted to see what they have. They have a great website there, guys. Even if you don't buy a butterball turkey, you certainly can go and see what they've got. So butterball.com, they have on that website calculators and con a conversion chart. So um, the calculators are so that you can calculate, like say you know you're gonna have 13 people at your, at your Thanksgiving dinner. How big of a turkey should you buy? So it goes over how big of a turkey should you get, how much stuffing should you have for that turkey, how long do you thaw it, you know, what types of thawing do you have, and how long to cook it. Okay, so what I came up with, with was the average size of a Thanksgiving turkey is 15 pounds. So this is what my instructions for you today is involving a 15 pound turkey. Um, if you thaw it in the refrigerator, which is the, the way I do it, and I believe it's the safest way, um, is that you want, uh, the calculator on butterball.com told me that a 15 pound turkey should thaw in the refrigerator for three days, 18 hours. So I figured four, four days. So if you want that turkey on Thursday, you really should take it out on Monday. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So you wanna have it out on Monday, which would be yesterday. So hopefully you guys all have your turkeys in the re refrigerator thawing out. Um, now, if you if you do it the cold water version, um, I've, uh, on uh, butterball.com they suggested to, to um, you put it in a cooler with cold water and um, they suggest seven hours for a uh, 15 pound turkey. So really, if you think about it, what you could do is you could take that turkey out and put it in cold water before you go to bed on Wednesday night and it will be ready to cook on Thursday morning. Um, so if you are going to, they suggested 325 oven, uh, and if you are going to have, cook the turkey with stuffing in it, 
uh, I'm sorry, with no stuffing in it, you would cook it three to three and a half hours. If you're gonna cook the turkey with stuffing in it, you'd cook it three and a half to four and a half hours. So, um, so you guys, that is what their suggestions were. Um, now the second category was stuffing. Now you guys, me, I like the stovetop stuffing. It takes about 10 minutes to make, literally, and I don't have to put it in the oven. So I don't have to think about oven space. So I prefer that, but what I did for the this video's purposes today, I went to pepperagefarm.com because they have those bags of uh, um, you know stuffing mixes that you can do. So I went there to find out what they what normal people do. So um, they have a great recipe on there. So it's pepperagefarm.com backslash recipes backslash moist hyphen savory hyphen stuffing. Got a great recipe on there that's a real quickie. Uh, so they suggest the, make the recipe. Uh, they suggest 30 minutes in a 350 oven. Um, but we know we're going to have the turkey in there at 325 already. So let's gauge this going by a 325 oven. We want that turkey to be our main focus and our main um, thing that we have to cook on that day. So we'll work around that. I don't feel like that's a big a deal to me. I would still leave it at 325 and still do it at 30 minutes. But you guys do whatever you feel is proper. Um, the next thing to consider is potatoes for mashed potatoes. Um, so I went to Maine Potato Board at Maine, and that's the state of Maine, M-A-I-N-E, don't forget the E on the end, mainepotatoes.com backslash recipe backslash perfect hyphen holiday hyphen Maine hyphen mashed hyphen potatoes. Um, they have a great recipe on there for mashed potatoes. Uh, and they suggest 30 minutes of a cook time, you know, prep time and cook time, 30 minutes. Um, next thing would be the cranberry sauce. You know, I buy the cans of the jellied cranberries. There are some people that hate that stuff, and there are some people like me that absolutely love it. <laughs> I love it, you guys. In fact, I've stocked my pantry while it's on sale in the grocery store, so I can have it throughout the year. Um, so I went to oceanspray.com. So oceanspray.com backslash en backslash recipes backslash sauces hyphen sides hyphen and hyphen salads. They suggest 20 minutes prep time and cook time for the cranberry sauce. Uh, okay, so then the next thing a lot of people have is a sweet potato casserole. Now I have to say that's nothing I have really cared for. Um, it's not my thing, but I think there are a lot of people in the southern United Southern states of the United States that's a big deal. They love that type of casserole. A lot of people around here even have it. Um, but anyway, I went to um, North Carolina sweet potatoes. So it's ncsweetpotatoes.com backslash recipes backslash sweet hyphen potato hyphen casserole. Uh, they suggest a 325 oven for, for um, well, for 15 minutes prep time, 30 minutes cook time. Um, so then, then the next category is gravy. And for that, I was thinking of, um, I make my own stock. You guys know, you've seen it a million times. I use my own stock for that, but I also use dripping for, drippings from the turkey, cooking the turkey. Uh, but there, you know, the Campbell's.com is what Swanson's uh, broth. Um, so that's why I went to Campbell's, thinking people would use the broth, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it was Campbell's.com backslash kitchen backslash recipes backslash turkey hyphen gravy. And their suggestion for their gravy recipe was 15 minute prep time. <clears throat> Excuse me. The last category that I wanted to go over was pumpkin pie. That's pretty standard, uh, you know, pretty standard pumpkin pie. Me, personally, I would make it the day ahead. I would make it on Wednesday. Even if you work all day long on Wednesday, come home on Wednesday night and make that pie because it takes 40 to 50 minutes to cook. Um, I went to Pillsbury.com because I thought... You know, I make my own pie crust, and a lot of people do, but some people don't. They buy their pie crust, and, um, you know, the Pillsbury Doughboy, they, they have those in the grocery store already done up. Uh, Pillsbury crust. So I went to Pillsbury.com backslash recipes backslash easiest ever pumpkin pie, and then there's a bunch of numbers. Oh, excuse me, guys. My cat's being naughty. Okay, in case you didn't see her, she was on the bookcase up there in the back of me. That bookcase is kind of rickety in it. I thought it might fall over, so I wanted her off of there. So, anyway, back to gravy. I mean, um, pumpkin pie. Um, so, anyway, I would um, definitely suggest making it on Wednesday. It's one of those things where you don't have to have it. 
uh, the exact day of it certainly will stay fresh um, you know the next day and if people want it warmed up you could just warm up a slice in the microwave you know I do that too um, but it's good cold too so um, it's up to you guys but that's what I would do um, now they when I went to Pillsbury.com uh, their recipe for the pumpkin pie suggested a 15 minute prep time 40 to 50 minutes of cook time and two hours to cool I thought that was wow that's a lot now if you wanted to cook that the day of if you have oven space and you want to cook it the day of you certainly can I would just time it so that you know you I would time it so that I would cook it like um, like this meal that I'm talking about today I'm thinking we're gonna eat at 1 o'clock so everything's based around the 1 o'clock so if you think about that and you want to make the pumpkin pie fresh that day um, have it so that it comes, uh, let's see, how does that go? It go, it comes out of the oven around 12. That way it's got an hour of cool time, but it's still warm when you want to eat it after your meal. So you would time it so that it would come out of the oven at 12. Like I said, I wouldn't have oven space enough because this, <clears throat> this, this uh, meal that I'm putting together, this menu, would require the turkey, the stuffing, and the sweet potato casserole to be in the oven. Now, I don't have room for all those things in my oven, so definitely do the pie the day before. Definitely do the, the stuffing. Like I say, I make the stovetop stuffing, and that gets zapped in the microwave. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I do it that way. But um, that still leaves the sweet potato casserole, and I would... I. I don't even know. I think with a 15-pound turkey, if I took one of the shelves out and I turned the uh, turkey pan sideways, I probably could get a 13 by 9 pan in there. So I think that would be my limit in my stove. <clears throat> but that's how I would do it. So like I said, guys, this whole menu is planned on a 1 o'clock uh, in the afternoon meal time. So what I came up with was, um, like I said, uh, uh, here's my, my menu on the back of this. <laughs> so <clears throat> what I came up with was on Monday... The 20, November 25th, 2019, that's when you should take your turkey out. So that would be yesterday, guys. So hopefully you guys all have your turkey thawing in the refrigerator. Um, if not, just remember, you can thaw it the night before in cold, a cold water bath uh, in, your, in a, your sink or a cooler or something like that. Um, then the, I also would on Wednesday, the Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, that's when I would... Um, Oh, I didn't mention in that menu um, that doesn't have any fresh vegetables in the menu that I've made up. But if you wanted to have a salad, um, I would do that on Wednesday night. Uh, like I would put my salad together and keep it in the refrigerator. <clears throat> Don't add dressing or anything like that. Um, but make it up the night before. So if you wanted to have fresh vegetables, you want a salad, or you could even have a veggie tray with a, a veggie dip uh, on Thanksgiving Day. I would cut up the veggies for the veggie tray on Wednesday evening. I would make the salad on Wednesday evening. So that's Wednesday. I would also, on Wednesday evening, set your table. Get your table all ready. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you have leaves, you know, the extra leaves to make your table bigger. If you have those, get those in there. Put your tablecloth on, put all your dishes on the table. Even get out your serving dishes and trays and platters. Get all those out and set it on the table. If you have a cat that's nosy, like mine, I would take a sheet and cover it all with a sheet, but definitely set your table the night before. I have a sister-in-law that used to be a caterer, and that's what she always did for her holidays. You always set the table the night before. Um, and then let's see, oh, and then also too on Wednesday, make the pumpkin pie. So Monday, take the turkey out of the freezer, put it in the refrigerator. Wednesday, um, make up your salad or veggie tray, um, make your pumpkin pie, and set your table. So on Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, that's when it all begins. Okay, so this is what I've got for a timetable. This is planning on a meal at 1. You would t start your cook a turkey cooking at 9 in the morning. Now it's 325. Um, get the turkey all I I'm thinking this is for a non-stuffed bird <clears throat> Excuse me. They do say to I think it was 15 minutes They suggested when you take it out of the oven to let it rest before you carve it So if you start your turkey at 9 it should be done by uh, The one o'clock meal time a little bit before that actually, but that's okay. You want it a little bit before then you know, you right at that time, as soon as I put the turkey in the oven, I would peel my sweet potatoes and my regular white potatoes. Make sure you put them in water, uh, you know, a dish with water in it, because otherwise they'll brown. You know how they get that oxidation. Um, so I would peel those. I wouldn't start cooking them then, but peel them. 
Um, and then after you put your turkey in and peel your vegetables, you really don't have anything to do until noon. At noon, I would start your sweet potato casserole. Um, I Then at 12.15, I would start the stuffing. Uh, uh, yeah, I have a 12 o'clock start the mashed potatoes. So at noon, you'd start your mashed potatoes, sweet potato casserole. At 12.15, the stuffing. At 12.30, the cranberry sauce. Did I mention? Yeah, cranberry sauce. At 12.45, you would do your gravy, and then you've already got your pumpkin pie, so you're all set to go. <clears throat> um, you know what? So anyway, th that's my schedule. So 9, 12, 12, 15, 12, 30, 12, 45. It's all timed out pretty well. And then the couple things to do the day before. Um, I'm going to have all of the websites that I went to listed below. You guys should check out those websites. You know, they're not sponsoring this video or anything like that, but um, they've got some great, um, It's they're all great resources to find out your timing and things like that. So guys, you know, I've, I've done up this video with one o'clock in mind, but maybe you guys plan on having a dinner. Maybe you plan on having it uh, at noon or, you know, something sooner or later than that. All I did for my recipes, what I do every single time is, I um, take my meal time, whatever that meal time may be, whether it's one or five or whatever, just count backward. Um, take your turkey and see how long that turkey takes to cook. Count backward. Write it down. Write, make yourself out a list. You know, you know me. I'm, I, I'm all about that list and day timers and all that stuff. So um, this is what I've done in the past. I always just go by that time. Um, uh, count backward to how long your things are going to take. And then just start preparing. Um, it's really kind of easy, but I do find, you know, you, you definitely have an order of things. Um, uh, and I've actually gone to people's houses before where they did not know how to do that. And half of the meal was ice cold by the time we sat down to eat. And it was way later than we thought. So, um, you know, planning is really the key here. Write everything down. I would also suggest having more than one timer. Um, so that it can remind you of things. You know, I've got uh, that white circular kitchen timer. You're always hearing it go off in my videos. I also got a timer on my stove. I also, I don't have my phone here, but I also have one on my phone. If you have people over, you can use their phones too. So have several timers going so that can remind you. Keep a list right down, like I wrote this list down with all the times on the side. <clears throat> reminding me when I want to do stuff. Have it in mind. Have that planned out, you know, uh, well in advance so that, you know, at the last minute you're not scrambling. Um, another suggestion, the Fly Lady has great suggestions on her website too for your meal and, um, you know, what to do ahead of time. Um, so anyway, you guys, that's just a really basic menu, really. Um, but to, to prepare your own, this is what I suggest. Take your meal time and go backward. You know, figure everything backward. Um, um, it's really kind of easy to do, and don't forget the safety issues and all of that. Now, the turkey, um, I like. I brined one a, couple, a few times, and I believe brining takes a day, so 24 hours. So if you do want to brine, I would still go by the same... Uh, thawing time but I would just on Wednesday make up your brine and get your turkey in the brine uh, that's what I would do that's my suggestion you guys you know may have your own ways of doing things but also to people down south I know there's a lot of people that like to do a uh, deep fried turkey um, so I, I I didn't put that in my menu today because I thought that I just wanted something really basic of course, depending on the region of the United States that you live in would depend on your menu. But this is a pretty basic one. I think that um, I think I hit upon most of the things that most people have during holidays. I didn't put in their rolls or anything like that. Um, you know, I do have a roll recipe, a crescent roll recipe that I like to make that takes a whole entire day. If I had the day off on Wednesday, I probably would make those on Wednesday. Um, but I've, you know, there's some really good rolls out there that are like, um, I bought some garlic knots a few weeks ago at Walmart that were actually really good. They come in a tin foil bag and you just throw the bag in the oven. That's how easy those are. You'd certainly have room in your oven for that. You could even put it on top of the, you know, turkey roaster. So anyway, you guys, those are some ideas. I hope that helps. I hope you guys, you know, this clears up some things for you guys. Just remember, always count backward and check out resources. There's so many 
resources on on uh, the internet uh, and they're all going to be listed down below all the ones that I I use today will all be listed in the description box um, and I'm like again I'm not being uh, sponsored by anybody this is just my own take on this I actually had my sister suggest uh, that this would be a good video to do and I thought well yeah that is a good idea I think that um, for me and members of my family planning the meal actually is kind of easy we're kind of a bunch of planners and organizers and so it's easy for us but there's a lot of people that get really flustered by this so I hope that this helps you guys um, write it down check your resources think way ahead of time um, you know just put it together in your mind and write things down as you as things you, you remember things <clears throat> okay you guys I hope this helps um, today's Tuesday so I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving um, I'm really looking forward to mine it's gonna be fun Spend time with your family and friends and um, kids and animals and have great uh, great family day. I hope you all enjoy and uh, please join me on Friday. Um, I know it's going to be a busy day for a lot of people, but I'll have my next video out on Friday. So anyway, you guys, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I really appreciate your comments and your support. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. Bye.